Welcome to the Albino Rhino Beer Review and Black Metal Reviews. Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino, you have in the basement. We have this beer right here. This beer is from Lake Wilcox. This is Bandit APA, or American Pale Ale. It is 5% alcohol by volume. Woo! Uh, I know you don't really like pale ales, and we're trying to broaden your horizons a little bit. We already yeah. found one beer that was not in your horizons that you actually enjoyed. Yes. So let's give this one a try. Cause I, you know what? I just don't want to. I don't want to be mocked by average Joe anymore about my Coors Lights and my Polish sex juices and uh, and my Guinnesses anymore. Well, who cares if he mocks you? I know. This is Joe. He has no channel. Get a channel, please. Then you can mock people. Yeah. Yeah. So when, are gonna, is, when are we going to do some metal reviews? This is 5% you, alcohol by volume. I came over because you said we are going to do some metal reviews. I actually have a whole bunch of my old metal CDs. Uh, I don't want I'm just kidding. No, I'll get them out. I don't want them. No. Oh my goodness. I can see right through this. Yeah, so <laughs> you're, yeah, that's basically your average golden beer. Yes. Very see-through, bright white head, little tiny snap crackle poop. <laughs> The effervescence going up. Look at look at the effervescence. It's effervescence sinking. Yeah, well, it, it's not that much, but no, yeah, but you can see it's them. It's effervescence sinking. I mean, I've seen a lot worse, but yeah, it does look nice. If you're looking through that beer, just seeing those bubbles rise is a really nice little thing. I see an albino in my beer. Give that a sniff, sir. <laughs> oh, you son bitch. Well, I know what I'm burping all day later. So, uh... Can I tell you what I smell? Yeah. Please, Blue Mare. Um, it smells kind of like your one dog if he ate a whole bunch of pine cones and he <laughs> rolled around in them and then he burped on me. He would smell so much better than he does now if he did that. No, it's very for me. It's very piney. They got. See, I'm picking up. Just I'm a picking bit up of more citrus in there. I got uh, Okay. Yeah, I see, I was going to say peel. I'm getting the citrus, the orange peel, the grapefruit. Mm. But for me, I'm not picking up pine as much as I'm picking up a floral note. But I mean, I'm getting more like the the resins off the hops and the the pine itself. Maybe I'm just thinking pine all the time because I, instead of thinking floral, even though pine is a plant, you know what I mean. But I'm getting a lot of pine. I'm now that when I keep going back and forth from my nose and and, and re-smelling it all the time, I'm still I'm getting a little bit more of the fruit in there now, like the, a little bit of the grapefruit. And does it say anything else on the can that I should be smelling? Oh, oh no, okay, never mind. Doesn't. Actually, I don't think he gives you tasting notes, and I like that. Uh, let's see here. The oh, no. citrus aromas and blah blah blah. I see it. Okay, yeah, there is there is kind of it, it, it's not like it's other ones. It's hinting you though. on what you're supposed to smell. Yeah, it's not it's not like the other types of tasting notes where it's like, oh, you're tasting this, 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 and this, and this. This is just I picked you know, my nose. Let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. See, I had this at the brewery. And the reason I asked you to pick it up was I thought this was gonna be a pale ale you wouldn't hate. I didn't think you'd really like it. I don't hate this, but it I smells hate worse it. than it tastes. It's very, very subtle. Oh, very subtle. I'm I'm actually quite surprised on after smelling that and thinking, oh, this is all going to be all piney and fucking citrusy, and I'm going to be burping up. I may be burping this up later, but I mean, this is um, very easy to drink. Yeah, I had like I said, I had this at the brewery, and when I had it, the thing I said to him was, I really like this because this is really your intro to a pale ale. So people that have never had a, a pale ale get to know what they're expecting. Also, it has enough flavor that a craft beer drinker could like it, but it has a subtle enough flavor that you could share it with almost anybody. So this is one of your mass market type of beers. I mean, it's not mass market like, say, the the uh, Alexander Keith's One Hop. I'd say it's a few steps up from that. But it, it has all the flavors you'd want in a pale ale, but they're just so subtle and subdued that they go away really quickly, and you could just drink it all day. Until you burp. I haven't I burped, burped yet. Because in my mouth, and it, it, you get what you smell. So, flavor-wise for me... Flavor-wise, it's really good. Flavor-wise for me, it's, flavor it's almost like a caramel malt flavor. But that would mean my, my aftertaste would be... I wouldn't like on this one. But I like... Okay, well, yep. no, I'll yeah. let you oh. carry on. I was going to say, car, I'm getting like a caramel malt up at the forefront. Getting a little bit of uh, grapefruit and orange peel. A little bit of grapefruit flesh. And a little floral and a little piney zest at the back end. I'm just going to say that it smells 
like I wouldn't like it. I drink it. I like it. I burped it. I don't like the burp. So it's kind of in between everywhere, and it's in the middle. Would I buy this again? <clears throat> you know what? I probably would. I mean, it is I'm also gonna... under three dollars a can. I believe it's like so. Two I'm going to give this a, can? a seven out of ten because that's pretty cheap for a can. Yeah. So um, I, I'm I'm actually the same with you. Probably actually, you know what? I'd give it a little more. I'd give it a seven two five. I have no problem with that beer. There you go. Alrighty, guys. Banded APA from Wilcox. It's a it's a solid drinker, and that's about it. I mean, don't go don't go to it expecting the most amazing flavors. It's just a solid drinker. Don't go yeah, don't go obviously don't go to this beer or this IPA thinking you're gonna get a super hoppy IPA. Because you're not. Because I'm not a super hoppy fan. And I like this. Yeah. Alrighty guys, thank you very much. Bye bye.